Total assets on the management grew from about $2.2 trillion in 2012 and topped $4 trillion for the first time ever at the end of 2021, according to Reuters. If there was a contest for the most misleading name, the term hedge fund would win. You will find out why shortly. Notable hedge funds today include Renaissance Technologies, founded by the mathematical genius Jim Siemens. Renaissance has had 66% average annual returns since 1988, 39% after fees. But wait, don't rush to go and invest. What is a hedge fund? Its strategies, history, requirements to invest in them, compensation structure, and what information you should seek if you consider investing in them. We are talking about hedge funds today on the Financial Advisor Show. The term hedge fund is defined as a means of protection. In finance, it involves risk reduction or protection. Example, airlines will often hedge against rising fuel prices by contracting in advance to purchase oil in the futures, futures markets, which are markets that allow investor to, investors to bet on the prices of commodities month or years from now. So investing in today's hedge fund reduce risk, right? Well, not exactly. Hedge funds pool investors' money and invest the money in an effort to make higher returns. They seek to profit in all kinds of markets by using leverage. Leverage is the use of borrowed money to make an investment which will magnify both the potential gain and the potential loss from an investment. They use short selling, derivatives, and other speculative investment practices to increase uh, investment exposure as well as risk. Hedge fund strategies include long only, uh, which is they buy stocks they believe are going to go up in value, uh, long short equity, which means purchase stocks that expect to go up in value while short selling those they expect to fall in value, event driven funds, those that invest in securities of corporations involved in special, special situations such as mergers, mergers and acquisitions, bankruptcy and spin-offs, and a lot more such as arbitrage funds, global macro funds, and funds of funds. Hedge funds have historically underperformed stock market indices, especially after fees and taxes are factored in. Hedge funds are largely unregulated and can only be accessed by sophisticated or accredited investors who have to meet certain net worth requirements, uh, generally a net worth exceeding $1 million or an annual income of over $200,000 for the previous two years. Most hedge funds use a 2 and 20 compensation structure, which means uh, investors have to pay a 2% asset management fee even if they don't make profits and a 20% of profits each year. Information you should seek if you consider investing in a hedge fund include the funds offering memorandum that contains important information about investing in the fund, uh, including the investment strategies of the fund, the risks of the investment, and ensure that they are suitable to your personal investing goals, time horizons, and risk tolerance. You should determine if the fund is using leverage or other speculative investment techniques. You should understand how a fund's performance is determined and how a fund's assets are valued. You should ask if there are any limitations on your right to redeem your shares and how uh, a fund's assets are safeguarded. Uh, you should ask what are the fees earned by the hedge fund manager, the expenses charged to the hedge fund, and the hedge fund and the hedge fund's manager's potential conflicts of interest. You should make sure that you research the background. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to join the Financial Advisor Show community on the below show social media platform. Thank you.